this, I, this would be the weekend <laughs> to have one. Certainly, we're counting on snow. How much and where exactly? I'll show you on a map here in just a second. So a few thoughts going into tomorrow. So tomorrow, the first thing you're going to notice is that gusty wind out of the east blowing right through the gorge. Initially, wind starting up right around 45 to 50 miles per hour. But at the west end of the gorge, that's where gusts could exceed 55 or even 70 miles per hour. That's going to increase throughout the day. We could be starting with morning rain, turning over to either freezing rain or a little bit of a wintry mix, and then turning over to snow. Now, the best chances for good time snow accumulations is going to be Portland and areas out to the north and east especially. I'll show you that here on a map in just a moment. But here's a dry scene right now. Take it in, soak it up, because things are going to be looking very different by this time tomorrow afternoon. 46 right now in Portland. And with a temperature like 46, you might be thinking, well, there's no way we're getting snow. Well, all we need is to transport that nice cold air through the gorge coming out of the east, and that's going to be happening for us starting tomorrow morning. Wind right now is calm. Look at one o'clock in the morning. That's where the fun begins. Now we're starting to cool down into the mid 30s, eventually getting down to freezing. So big picture here is big impacts widespread. Winter storm warning that starts tomorrow at noon. It goes until Friday noon. Now that could, of course, be extended beyond that point. So be prepared for changes. Snow totals could range anywhere from two to six inches across the metro and beyond. And ice accumulation, of course, is also a concern, especially during that period when we get that freezing rain. And it's not going to be equal for everybody. Let's take a closer look here. Right around the metro, you go down to Oregon City and can be also included in that winter storm warning. There's a bit of a divide you might notice right here. Right outside of Gresham, you might be thinking, well, golly, it seems like that winter storm warning should be extended beyond that point. Oh, and it is in a big way, a blizzard warning. Why? Because not just snow, we're expecting blowing snow to the point where it's going to make uh, driving very difficult. Wind gusts, as I mentioned before, possibly up to 70 miles per hour. So that blizzard warning, it starts tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in the morning. It includes Clark, Hood River, Multnomah, and Skamania counties. So again, as you go from Carson West, that's where your blizzard warning begins. That doesn't mean that, uh, diff uh, that driving isn't going to be difficult to the east. It certainly will, but that's where it's going to be the windiest, right there at the western end of the gorge. So let's take a look at potential snowfall totals just for Thursday alone as we get started. Remember, we're starting off going from rain because it'll be still a little bit above freezing, turning that over to potentially freezing rain and then eventually snow. So your snow totals are going to vary quite a bit. You're going out towards Washougal in southwest Washington. We could see higher totals closer to 8 to 12 inches. Uh, right around Gresham, anywhere from 1 to 3 inches. Slightly less as you go south of Portland, anywhere from a trace to an inch. Now, as we go out towards Hillsboro, heading out towards uh, Banks, the West Hills, now you're talking about slightly higher totals. That terrain will certainly help you, especially terrain that's facing the gorge. So that would be Sylvan out, out towards Banks as well. Now battleground, you're looking at anywhere from a trace to an inch and then higher totals as you go a little bit higher into the hills. Let's look at Friday's potential totals. Now notice we're getting into the thick of it. This is where we could see totals just for Friday alone going anywhere from six to nine inches as you make your way east of uh, I-205 and especially heading out towards uh, Vernonia, St. Helens. Now battleground could be looking at totals closer to three to six inches and Tigard anywhere from two to four. We are going to be talking about wind chills. What kinds of temperatures are we expecting when we add the wind to that? I'll get into those details coming up in just a few minutes. A lot going on and make sure you download our Coin6 PDX weather app. If you haven't already, you can get customized updates for your hometown. Coming up, the second